a journalist. I typically cover pretty serious stuff, things like immigration and poverty and the climate change. This is an example of me being a very serious journalist up here. And my name is Morgan, uh, and I'm a filmmaker, and I make films about unicorns and depressed hot dogs and Greek myths. He does. So what do Morgan and I have in common? We are both really passionate storytellers, and we're both really passionate about telling the stories of today and about pushing the boundaries of how those stories get told. And right now, um, I, I think as we've seen today, right now more than ever, there are stories that are all around us that need to be told, that aren't being told. Um, in our country here, I, I don't have to be the one to say that uh, America is in the middle of a, uh, of a great period of change. Uh, we had a, we're in the middle of an economic collapse. We have political turmoil. America right now is, in a, is kind of in a tough spot. But America has known tough spots before. There are a lot of parallels between today and the 1930s, which was another time when it was absolutely crucial to tell the stories of who we were as a nation. Projects like the Federal Writers Project, the Federal Artist Project, and programs like that did just that, sent out the storytellers of that time, the photographers like Dorothea Lang here, the journalists and the writers, to document a nation at the crossroads. And a lot of their work, like this photograph by Dorothea Lang, has become an iconic description of America in the 20th century. And that's what we're doing at American Five. We are resurrecting that idea and then updating it for the 21st century. Why are we doing that, Morgan? Well, with all the sort of institutions that are collapsing around us, like our, or failing, our financial institution, our sense of national security, even journalism itself we can see uh, to be failing, and that's the institution that's supposed to be us telling our stories back to ourselves, that it, right now it's uh, more crucial than ever to listen to the stories of our neighbors and to listen to our own story and to really you know, be able to look at what's going on uh, together. Uh, and not only that, uh, you know, we, we feel the urgency of the times, but also the opportunity of the tools Right now, more than ever, we have the opportunity to be able to document what's going on around us and to be able to share it. So what are we making? Here's what the website looks like. An online living document that describes what Americans are thinking and feeling and fearing and living in our country today. Something for this moment and for generations to come. And how are we doing that? America in Five wants to send out 12 teams of media makers out into the country for one year. And being sent out into the country for one year could mean any number of things. That could mean crisscrossing a state, exploring an industry. It could mean traveling the Rust Belt. It could mean going from community farm to community farm. The only expectation is that they're sending us back one story a week so that we can send our audience one story a day. And that story could be any number of things. It could be an audio piece, a short documentary, a blog, a piece of mixed media, even a comic strip. Things that I can't even think of right now because we're asking people to innovate and tell stories in new ways. The only requirement is that it's nonfiction and it's told in under five minutes because this is content that is being made for the web first, after all. So American Five has made its first piece. We got together a comic book artist, uh, an audio producer, a writer, and a filmmaker and we gave them one week. We said, okay, you have one week to find a story, to figure out how you're gonna tell that story, and then to produce the story, one little piece of what it means to be an American or what it means to be in America today. And they found a story of a homeless family uh, and their unfulfilled quest uh, to own a home. Uh, so let's watch that. You know, let me borrow $50 here, let me borrow $50 there, and I'll borrow this money, and by the time payday came, I had to pay back all this money I owed, then it's time for the rent, time for the car note, time to pay the babysitter for, you know, the co-payment for daycare, it's just all of these different, pay so I ended up just pretty much robbing Peter to pay Paul, like I didn't, it was never enough. I didn't want to, you know, burden people with my own problems. I said, you know, right now I probably should just 
stay in a hotel. So I tried to get us a hotel room, but of course it was too expensive. And I just really, I just was kind of tired. I was like, you know, we just gonna have to stay in the car. You know, I had my, my youngest daughter. I had actually taken her to see Princess and the Frog. And then Princess and the Frog, the, the princess is wishing on a star. And my daughter says to me, she says, Ma, she was like, I um wished on a star and I know it's not gonna come true, but when we gonna get that house? I think maybe two days later is when we got the call to move into this place. And I was like, see, your wish did come true. Hello, you have reached the Family Shelter Program. We serve families with children, both in our voucher program and in our extended shelter program. Please note that due to the high volume of calls, we are only able to return your call if there is a space available. Thank you for calling. Homelessness does not have a look to it. You know, I'm, I look like an ordinary person. If you walk past me on the street, you probably never know that we were homeless unless I tell you. We get on the bus every morning, I have to be up at like 5 o'clock in the morning. The bus comes at 5.56 in the morning, it takes two hours. Then we have to go up the hill and catch, an, you know, catch another bus, go up the hill. You have to work hard, you know, it's not going to be easy, life is hard, you know, just do, it, do whatever it is that you have to do. It's so important to just maintain a positive attitude, you know, to take a step back, take a deep breath and say, you know what, it's gonna be okay. And I just keep telling myself, like, you can do this. Like, if anybody else can do it, you can do it. We actually started off from St. Louis to Tennessee, but there were no jobs in Tennessee, so I left Tennessee and I went to Illinois, and that wasn't working out. And my mom, she had lived here for like two years, and we decided that we would come up here. We were just kind of feeling our way around to see what was the perfect fit. And when we got here, I just I fell in love. And so even though I'm, like I said, I'm not in my own place, but we finally have a roof over our head. We have a peace of mind. I don't have to worry about where we're gonna stay the next night or the next night after that. You know, I know we're coming every day. This is their property. This is their house, you know? They just gave me a key and said, here, you can stay here for a while. Now we are all a paycheck away from being homeless. A lot of people don't know that. If you don't have money saved up, you 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 just right around the corner from being homeless. So the video they sent us was pretty powerful, and it just made me imagine what it would be like if I got a one piece like this every day for a year. What kind of impact that would have on my life. What I would learn, what, what, what I would know about this country and myself and my neighbors at the other side of that year. Yeah, but this is a huge project. It's a really big idea. And it needs visionaries to help make it happen now. And we really believe that this is a project that needs to happen now. 
We need investors to help secure the resources so we can send out that core of storytellers with the tools and the time that they need to find these kinds of stories, to find new ways of telling them, and to send them back to us. So if you're as excited by this idea as I am, as inspired by it as both Morgan and I are, help us make this happen. Visit our website, contact us, get involved, call us, buy us a drink after this, and help us make America and Five happen this year, because it needs to happen this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.